so here we are in our cluster after first video this cluster was created and now I'm going to solve the first question all the details of this question you would be able to see inside the description of this video and how to solve it along with the question you will see the answer as well but uh, here if you need an explanation of that uh, you can use it after this video so I'm going to specify an alias first alias g is equal to kubectl so whatever command I'm going to run I'm going to use g instead of kubectl now because I have specified this uh, alias okay so g Well, I can see three nodes are there. Um, I have created this. Uh, I just I'm using just two worker nodes and one master node. This is a production like uh, environment where multiple VMs are there with this, these roles assigned to them. So the first question is um, create a new port called admin port with the name is busybox and allow it to be able to set system time and. Uh, <clears throat> Container should have should sleep for 3200 seconds. Uh, create it. G run. Okay. G run. Add one. Add one port. That's what it is, I guess. Add one port. Add one port. We'll have to write an image is equal to Z box and it is going to be a dry run so that I can generate a YAML file which I can add it for uh, system time capabilities. So uh, let's say dry run is equal to point. This is the new option that you need to add equal to point. And hyphen O YAML and the command that was asked is sleep 3200. So it generates this file in the content and I'm going to put it inside admin pod YAML. Okay, admin pod YAML into my file where I'm going to add other requirements as well. So let me just go inside this file and code YAML and this is unnecessary information that to create this code I am deleting them. Status we start policy. I don't have to specify DNS policies and this creation times. So I'm just going to do this. And now I'm the requirement is to create a uh, time capabilities for the file. So let me just say sys underscore time in capital and then Kubernetes equal so I got this configure as a get context. Here uh, I will search for sys underscore time. This is the way you can reach to this particular location here this security context is to be added to my uh, my container so I'm just copying this stuff and I'll put it inside the notepad so that I can see the context right so here I'm going to say whatever content I have copied let's just paste it and then see I'm going to specify echo here echo and then with equal space this comma single Q comma then again comma and I'm going to check whether it works fine inside command or not so I'm going to copy it right? and let's go inside command line and try to paste it and check whether it works is fine so this is the output of the command. Context is very important in YAML. So let's just try to edit our file. T space hyphen A is to append an existing file. 
if you don't specify hyphen a it will recreate a new file with this content so i'm going to append it inside admin code yaml and let's just say get admin code here i have specified this information let's just create the code now g create g create hyphen f admin so it has created the admin code i can check g get codes and g describe code admin hyphen code so you should be able to see most of the information that you want to see so this was successfully created and this is exactly what we needed for this question the question will be uh, more or less the same uh, i hope you, you get through it easily thank you